Afternoon folks, I hope you're well. Uh, today I'm going to be lighting up a Perdomo cigar. I got this as part of a sampler set of five sun-grown Perdomo cigars. This is the Toro-sized 10th anniversary sun-grown. Um, I'm a little bit hesitant because I've seen a few critical comments about this cigar, but um, quite a glitzy band on there, a nice size, it's got like a kind of a soft box press, so it's almost like an oval shape rather than round. Um, Colour wise it's uh, like a mid brown, so I've just been looking up the sizes, I think this is the Epicure, which is a 6 inch by 54 ring gauge, so really quite a big cigar. I'm not even sure I'm going to have enough time to finish it this afternoon, we shall see. Um, I'm not going that much off the wrapper, but on the foot, um, it's sort of a sweet spice, a little bit of fruit there, but um, a bit of heat, a bit of a snuffy, like it's like you're taking up a little bit of uh, dust from snuff, that kind of feeling it like burns your nose a little bit. Oh, they're making me sneeze. Um, the pre-light drawer, wide open at the moment. Hmm, interesting flavor. It's almost like a fermented banana. I mean, not literally, but hints of it. Really quite a sweet, like a sugary banana, you know, a slightly bruised banana, that kind of um, taste. Interesting. Uh, okay. I'm gonna light it with this lighter today because I think my other lighters are in the car. It really is a big cigar. Draws good. We'll let that settle in for a sec. So we're a couple of minutes in. The draw is really very open. The flavour is quite thin, but it's not too bad. There is a little bit of a, a heat to it, a richness to it, uh, a strength from the sun grown. I find that what you get with a lot of sun grown cigars is that um, that just addition of a little bit of heat, um, a bit of spicy heat. And in some cigars, it's just too much for me. And in some gars, cigars, it just enhances the whole profile. <clears throat> so for instance, in, in the Undercrown series, the Sun Grown, I like a lot. I like that p compared to the Maduro, I prefer the Sun Grown because I like that little spicy um, addition. I don't like really hot peppery stuff, but I like it when it's just a little a little bit of added spice. And at the moment, that's what I'm getting on this cigar. There's a little bit of a, a light hay flavor. Um, that's basically what I'm getting. There's a, there's a sweetness, a sweet, a spicy kind of flavor. There's a bit of a hay, grassy hay kind of flavor. Um, it's kind of more in the upper registers of flavor profile. It's not deep or, or rounded at the moment. Perhaps a little bit of a burnt sugar flavor on the tongue as you draw. Uh, maybe also a little bit of an oily uh, residue in the mouth. The wrapper is a little bit oily, nothing to write home about, but there is the smoke is a little bit oily. It, there is a feeling of oiliness on the tongue. All right, well, we're hitting the end of the first third. 
although it's quite a big cigar, but we'll call that the first third. Um, nice ash, stacking quite well. I do notice a difference between Cuban cigars and non-Cubans in the way they stack. The Cuban cigars tend to stack with a much more defined, smaller ridges, whereas I find a lot of the non-Cubans are more sort of flaky, <coughs> flaky, <coughs> excuse me, with indistinct stacking there, but it's there. Um, burn line is good. Uh, the draw is open, but it's good. <coughs> Flavours, as it described, really hasn't changed very much. Maybe a little bit richer. Um, it's very pleasant. Um, it's not what I would call a complex cigar, um, but the flavours are nice. It's sweet. It's got that richness, as I said. Um, there is a, a little bit of a... I have seen other people talk about a metallic flavour. I see what they're saying. I wouldn't describe it as metallic. For me, that's what um, you get with that sort of grassy hay mixed in with that rich sweetness. Um, that's the sun-grown element for me. Um, so I don't personally see that as metallic. Um, for me, it's just that sort of that sweet richness, that sp sweet spiciness that you get. The retrohale was quite manageable so far, um, but um, all in all, it's been very consistent. It's quite smooth, um, but you know, you've got because you've got that richness there as well, it kind of bumps it up a little bit, gives it a little bit more fullness, gives it the impression of being a little bit more sort of rough and ready. But it's actually quite quite smooth. If you sort of take out that richness out of the equation then you'd be left with a very smooth um, kind of cigar. But that uh, sun grown gives it that added element. Um, and it's uh, very nice so far. Cigar just ashed all over me. It's funny how once the ash goes off, the cigar straight away looks so much shorter. It's deceptive. I find it's like a bit of an optical illusion when the, when the ash is on there, it still looks like a long cigar. Um, it's childish, I know, but it's just the reality of it for me. Um, but anyway, we're just uh, progressing into the second third. Well, progressing nicely through the second third. Very, very consistent, very much the same. Really no change at all. Um, hasn't even really ramped up in terms of fullness or strength or anything like that. So pretty much the same as previously mentioned. Heading towards the final third. Um, really not much to comment. Um, if there's one thing which stands out about this cigar is its consistency. It's pretty much exactly the same as it's been throughout the cigar. It's behaving very well. Burn line is very good. Smoke output is good. Oh, actually, it's gone a bit there, but it's nothing terrible. Um, smoke out, as I say, is very good. Burn line is good. Draw is very good. It's open, but it's good. Flavours are, as, as stated, um, quite bright, um, still grassy and hay. Um, the sweetness is not maybe as as pronounced as it was earlier on, um, but it's still got that rich spiciness in the background. It, you can feel it at the back of your mouth, you know, just at the top of your throat. Um, and it's just the right amount. It's not too heavy. Um, a little bit more than that, and I wouldn't enjoy it. A lot of the Rocky Patel cigars that I've had in the past have gone two or three steps above, and they've just become pepper 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 all the way and I don't like that um, this one seems to have it about right all right folks so we're heading towards the end of the cigar um, I'm, I'm finishing this off a little bit earlier than normal but the cigar is not really going anywhere it's it's really consistent in, in its flavors and its profile throughout the cigar and I'm not expecting any changes and I'm running out of time a little bit so <clears throat> a visual construction um, a handsome looking cigar um, a little bit of oil on the uh, on the wrapper. Um, quite lightweight. Didn't feel like it was a solidly filled cigar, but um, perfectly normal. Um, perfectly nice looking cigar. Very bright and uh, glitzy band. A little bit brash for me, but still nice. A nice band. A nice big band. Um, I would say the overall mark for visual construction for me this one gets a seven mechanical construction um it's been pretty good um burn line been good overall uh, combustion's been very good draw's been good a little bit more open than i would like but still not in any way hampering the smoke good smoke output um 
or else mechanical construction has been pretty good. I can't complain. Um, for me, seven and a half. Not bad at all. Um, flavors, flavors, like I've been saying throughout, has been very consistent and very samey all the way through. There's been no evolution. Um, that's sometimes a good thing and sometimes, you know, not so interesting, but it depends on what you're in the mood for. But in terms of the flavors themselves, um, so the a grassy, hay kind of flavor, there's that sweet, rich, sort of sun-grown spiciness that you get with it. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, it's 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 not a bad flavor. It's it's a fairly straightforward flavor. If you like it, you'll love this cigar and you'll smoke loads of them. Um, and for me, it's actually a pretty good smoke for um, maybe to start your day, maybe a little bit spicy to start your day and maybe a little bit of a, a notch down on the spiciness if it was going to be my first coffee kind of cigar. Um, but it's definitely a cigar which I'd be happy to sort of have on the go during the day when I'm working and just keep coming back to it and, you know, setting it down for a bit and coming back to it. It's a it's a big cigar, so it's um, it'll sort of last me a good while. Um, um, but as I say, the flavours are nothing to write home about. They're nothing wrong with them, just not particularly complex. A fairly straightforward, linear smoke all the way through. Um, so flavours on this one, again, a fairly average seven. Um, in terms of uh, fullness, um, an interesting one because the upper end of this of the flavor scale is flavorful. It's there. There is a fullness to it there. But when you look at the whole flavor wheel, um, it's like only it's, it's like your cup is half full. So the half full part of the cup is good, um, but you feel that there is a little bit missing at the bottom end of the register. That does get compensated for by the richness that you get, being that it's a sun grown. Um, so um, but in terms of the fullness itself, looking at it overall, I'd go for just a touch under medium. Um, and if pretty much uh, the, 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 that richness that you get does help to fill the, 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 your senses, but uh, not quite um, sort of full. So uh, around the medium mark, maybe a touch under, sometimes a touch over, but around the medium mark. Um, strength. Um, mild pretty much um, now right now in the final third I'm starting to get a little bit of nicotine so I would say for the majority of the cigar mild and then approaching medium at the end of the cigar um, overall mark for me this one gets a seven and a half I think it's a pretty average cigar um, it's uh, it's probably priced pretty well um, it, it's not a premium price um, it's not what I would call a premium cigar but it's not far off um, it's a very nice cigar, um, just, it's not your, um, it's, it's not complex, it's not a cigar if you really want to sit down and focus on it and really get all the nuances and all of that kind of thing, that's not this cigar, um, but it is good at what it does. Thanks very much, hope you enjoyed that, that's been the Prodomo Sungrown 10th Anniversary, catch you on the next one.